Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with my April Ipsy Glam Bag reveal and review. I hope I'm not too late on this. I hope, you know, I mean it may be May. Oh well, whatever. I filmed this in April so it still counts in my opinion. <laughs> this month's bag is so fucking cute. Let me tell you. Oh my god. Hello, getting ready for spring. I'm so excited. This is the final product of today. I'm very happy with everything in the glam bag. Well, the moisturizer smells like weird bubble gum from my childhood, but other than that, I mean, it worked well, so <laughs> that's fine. For those of you that do not know, Ipsy is a subscription service, so for 10 bucks a month, you get five beauty products sent to you, mostly samples, once in a while you'll get a full size product, you fill out a little profile thing and they send you, you know, stuff that, that suits your needs and your skin tone, all that stuff. You have the option to review things, I don't know if, you know, if there's other Ipsy subscribers, I am brutally fucking honest with mine. <laughs> And if you're curious and feel like getting a subscription, my referral link will be in the description box. I just get points if you use my link. I'm not gonna push it, but hey, free points is free points. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, everything will be listed in the description box below, ipsy and otherwise, as well as videos that I mentioned and possible follow-up in review for some of these products. So if you feel like seeing how I got this look and all the tea and all the shit, whatever, keep on watching. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. I'll tell you what the products are and we'll transition right into the demo or whatever. So in this month's Gypsy bag, I have what? Duche? I'm gonna call it douche punk. I'm a douchebag and I will purposely say it wrong because I feel like it. Anyway, volumizing mascara, which is perfect because I'm always looking for a volumizing mascara, so excited to try that out. Firma Beauty 103 Angled Contour Brush. Yes, I will be demonstrating that with my bronzer today. I have the Perlis Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm, and I believe this is a moisturizer. And then I have the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Base Tape Hydrating Primer. Definitely excited to try out a new primer. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I have my like staple like Becca primers that I love. Just as a quick update, side note, psh, I actually am digging the Smashbox primer. And Hikari Cosmetics Cream Pig Cream Pigment and Honeydew. It's interesting how they titled it Cream Pigment because I will both be using that as a highlight shade and on my lid today. That'll be featured in two different spots. So we may as well jump right into this moisturizer. This is what it kind of looks like here. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely like a like a gel or semen according to my what well, looks like. Yeah. Anyway, just kidding. So this video is, well, it's not as late as February's because Feb I combined February's and March. Whoa. Yeah, it's definitely watermelon. Like, I know that's, that sounds like really dumb to say, but it's like, oh my god, do you remember? Okay, there's two things. There's like blow pops. I need to call reinforcements. I'm so sorry, but it's fucking blow pop or like that bubble yum shit. Holy shit. Hold that thought. Okay, so give me your hand. It's just a moisturizer. Just rub it in on top of your hand. Now sniff it. What the hell does that remind you of? Don't you go. Told you it was gum. Told you it was gum. Came in a fake band -aid box. Okay, the band-aids, but I said I said um or like fruit stripe gum. The suckers. The pop with the suckers in it. The gum and the suckers. Oh yeah. And like bubble gum. Bubble, bubble gum too. Yeah. Anyway, that's all. Thank you. Alright, so now I'm going to be going in with the Hikari cream pigment <laughs> pigment on my lid. What I'm going to do first though is swatch this to figure out exactly how I want to use this. Ooh, that feels really nice. It's really soft. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to wet my brush with a setting spray and hopefully by the time I edit this 
I will have used this, you know, with applying it with a dry brush, you know, over top of concealer on the lid and I can kind of compare. So check the description box down there for that if you are interested. I'm not sure if it's going to be there or not. So, so I am going to take a clean brush, nothing on it, brand new. I don't know, I don't think it'd be smart to use something with like other pigments on it. So bring it closer. It picks up pretty nice, really. It's nice and soft. It goes on pretty lightly. I don't think I have anything like that right now, so this is kind of perfect for what it is. Yeah. So I'm going to re-wet this brush. Definitely anxious to see how this is going to be as a highlight too. The more I, I dip my brush in, the more powdery it shows. There's quite a bit of kick up, but it's fine. You know, a little messy, which I can deal with. That's fine. Yeah, I do like that. I told myself I kind of wanted to go light today. I don't know why I tell myself these things. Because do I ever listen? No, I really fucking don't. Okay, I'm gonna jump right in with this primer by Tarte, the Hydrating Primer Base Hydrant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so I guess I didn't realize what kind of consistency this was. It's, um, it's kind of, uh, yeah, see it moves, kind of watery. It's very thin. It smells like coconut. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with my hands today. I do sometimes use a brush when I apply primer, but I know on the consistency of the primer, I don't always do that. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with foundation on, to on top of this just so, so it helps me with my first impressions. And I'm actually, from the same line, the Tarte Double Duty Beauty, I'm going in with the Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation, which I think that Get Ready With Me is up where I used the mattifying one, not the hydrating. If that's the case, I will link that down below. I really struggled with it. It was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. And honestly, this one, you know, it says that it's hydrating. I mean, it kind of is. And it definitely works better on me than like the other one. I don't know. It's definitely not the best foundation by far, but I've used it enough times because like I want to use it. So that's the reason why I'm, you know, kind of using it today. Plus it goes, you know, I want to see how, how it works with you know, a primer from basically on its same line. Honestly, it's definitely acting different. It moves around the face a little bit more. My brush is kind of dirty, so I do have some streakage going on, but a lot of times I just try and fix that afterwards with a sponge. It's funny, there's people that are like either one or the other, and I'm seriously so both, it's not even funny. I like to use a sponge for cleaning up. This is a win. I'm definitely excited to try this out with other foundations. So what I'm going to do this week is use a different foundation each day and kind of record my thoughts and check the description box down below for a follow-up on that primer. All right, it's time to go in with my bronzer by The Balm to take home the bronze. This came in my, I believe, my October Ipsy Glam bag. I will link that video down below. That was my first Ipsy Glam bag. This stuff does last quite a while. I use it in a weird rotation anyway, so. Wow. This little brush is fucking perfect. It's a little bit smaller from my other angled brush that, that it's similar to. I'll blend it down. It definitely picks up pigment, let me tell ya. Awesome, so highlight and mascara. Alrighty, let's go right in with the highlight, which is the same cream pigment by Hikari. I have a clean brush, not used in any other product, just to kind of make sure that it's not lying or anything. Wow, there's a lot of powder. Okay, so this is definitely a messy bitch. Good to know. Oh wow, that's really pretty as a highlight. Oh yes, I am in love with that. Yep, this will definitely get used a lot as a shadow and honestly as a highlighter. Similar to the Lottie London. All right, so let's do this last step. Oh. Yeah, so the lip color that I'm wearing, I have the Bare Minerals Kitty Cream Lipstick on right now. And let's go ahead and jump right into this lash. I'll try and bring in. Moment of truth. Let's see this brush, because that is what will be. Um, yes. 
Look how fucking fat that is. Yes, ma'am. Yes, fucking ma'am. Hello. I will give a further review on this in the description box below because, you know, a lot of times with mascaras, you gotta, you know, work with them a little bit. You know, like, you can't really have a good opinion just off of a first use. Because I've had some where I hated the first use, but after a couple of weeks, it was a completely different product. So you just gotta work through the first, like, few times or whatever. Oh, that brush is like absolute perfection. This is exactly what I look for for a brush. Yes, please. Hello. I love this. I love this so much. Yeah, talk about like shorter hair. I had to do something about it. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't wait any longer. Oh my goodness. So this is the finished look. Anyways, so as always, all of the products that I use today, Ipsy and otherwise, will be listed and linked in the description box below, as well as any videos and such that I have mentioned. Also, stay tuned for further reviews on some of these products. I'm totally digging this. I, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to have Ipsy. I, I mean, at least another month or so. I'm tempted to try the Glam Bag Plus, but I'm also tempted to do BoxyCharm instead. Anyway, I guess until the next one.